Today we'll be talking about projection painting in Blender. We'll see how to paint a texture from a projection. I'll be using the 2.9 version of Blender. In this video, we'll be using the following image by Kevin Amorala from Pixabay. Sorry if I mispronounced the name. Here we have an interesting Rubik's Cube. What interests us is the top face of the cube. Here we have a texture projected in a perspective that we want to extract from the image so that it's an orthographic projection. So it should look as if we were facing it and not viewing from an angle. Here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Create a Blender file. So I already created a Blender file and I saved my project. And now I can just get rid of this default cube. So with the cube selected hit X, delete. Now step 2. Set the camera background image. As mentioned before, we'll be using the image by Kevin Amrala from Pixabay. So let's set it as the camera background image. To do this, select the camera in the outliner and go to camera view by hitting 0 on your numpad. Then go to the object data tab here and check the background images box over here. Then click the add image button and hit open to browse for your image. Okay, here's my image, open image, and we can see it here. Now step 3, add a plane. Now we're going to add a plane and position it so that it covers the surface we want to extract the texture from. In our case, it's the top face. We will do it in camera view. So hit shift plus A, select mesh, plane. Now toggle the X-ray button over here on so that we can see through it. Step 4. Position the plane. Now go to edit mode by hitting tab and select the four vertices of the plane one by one and move them so that the plane outlines the top face of the cube. So vertex 1, G to move. Vertex 2, G to move. Vertex 3, G to move. Vertex 4, G to move. Step 5. Go to the UV editing workspace. With the plane still selected, let me select all, go to the UV editing workspace, which is here. In the 3D viewport on the right, go to camera view, so hit 0 on your numpad, so that you can see the background image. Select all the vertices of the plane in the 3D viewport, which is already done here. Now the top face of the cube, when viewed from the front, is a square. And so is the aspect ratio in the UV editor on the left. If it was a different shape, like a rectangle, you might want to adjust the aspect ratio so that it matches that of the original surface that you want to paint. Step 6. Add another UV map. We'll need another UV map. So go to the UV map section in the Object Data tab over here and add another UV map by hitting the plus sign over here. Rename it Projected. We will then draw from the projected UV map onto the first UV map. Step 7. Project from view. While still in camera view, go to the UV menu and select Project from view. Step 8. Open the cube image. Now open the cube image in the UV editor by selecting it from the drop-down list over here. Rubik's cube. 
The UV map should overlap with the top face of the cube. If it does, you're good to go. Step 9. Create a new image. Now we're ready to create the image that you want, so the front view of the texture, which we now see in projected view on the top face of the cube. First, let's go to the Texture Paint workspace and set the mode under Texture Slots to Single Image. Then press the New button to create new image and name it Extracted. This is going to be the image of the extracted texture. Step 10. Select the original UV map. We want to use our original UV map for the painting, not the projected one, so make sure to select it. Step 11. Select the Clone tool. We will be using the Clone brush to paint our texture, so let's select it from the toolbar, it's over here, Clone. It works just like the Clone tool in any graphical program, so you just set one cursor on the area that you want to copy and then you use the main cursor to actually clone the texture, the first cursor is moving over. Step 12. Select Source Image and Source UV Map. In order to be able to clone the texture, you first have to enable the Clone from Paint slot box over here. Clone from Paint Slot. Then you have to set the source image to the image of the Rubik's Cube. And the source UV map to the projected UV map. Which is the one from which we will be cloning. Step 13. Clone the texture. Now let me zoom in a little. If you now have your mouse cursor over the source image here and press the left mouse button, the target image will be drawn. Have a look. Step 14. Finish the projection painting. Now, when you finish the painting, you will have the original projected texture in front view, so as if you were facing it. But you will notice that the target image is distorted. This is because it has too little geometry. Let's add some geometry to get rid of the distortion. Step 15. Add geometry. To add geometry, we must go to Edit Mode. So let's select Edit Mode over here. Now with the plane selected, let's subdivide it. You can do it from the Edge menu over here. Edge, Subdivide. Now you can set the number of cuts over here to 100. Like so. Step 16. Paint again. Now go back to the Texture Paint mode, so Texture Paint, and Paint again. This time, there should be much less distortion. If you're not yet fully satisfied, you can try a greater number of subdivisions, but generally we're done. Ok, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, 
You're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.